Logan learned Hangul. We tried to speak it as much as we could to the fans and to his teammates. So I think because we tried to dive into their culture, they were appreciative and um, did whatever they could to communicate with us. <laughs> How many points did I get? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. It's tough being one of the only Americans on the team, just from the fact that you don't have anyone to talk to, really. And you know that there's guys that you connect with that, that you can just tell, like, if we could only speak to each other, we would be best friends. But our conversation is the same every day. It's the little bit of English he knows and the little bit of Korean I know. And that's it. And a lot of smiles, a lot of pats on the back. Um, and you can get by with that. But that's just so tough because, you know, in, in baseball, like, that's your brothers out there for, for nine months. The two of you, you know, you spend more time with them than you do with your family for nine months. So uh, only having the one other American on the team and my two translators that's it, you know, I don't have anyone else to talk to other than you know, my wife when I get home, and then that's it. As soon as he gets home from a long road trip, even if he doesn't get home till 2 a.m., he wants to be the one that's up with Levi in the morning so that he can see him because he hasn't seen him in four days. I've never regretted my decision to play in Korea. There's been times where I wondered if it was the best decision for me, but that, you know, baseball is hard. I would question that if I stayed in the States and you know, if, even if I was in the big leagues the whole season. All in all, like, Korea was was amazing. We're very fortunate and, and, and glad that we were able to do that.